Hello, Jungi Clan back. We are finally here at Booster Rock Spring Fest 2023. It's actually lit Sound here. Gabriel, pretty lit, pretty lit. It's, it's uh, there's like lit. almost 150 plus teams. Yeah, yeah. So I got that's already more than double than what we had in Ontario a year ago. Who remembers? So yeah, uh, so you can see we got kind of excited to come back here, play some carp at Vanguard. Sculpt as for Rara Hangayama up in here. Actually, Mitsuru Hazama attempting to represent my Kakoshi bus was Gago Kaibo. So yeah, uh, we, we are going to try to represent this with some uh, spicy encounter this. So it's going to be fun, it's going to be fun. And yeah, oh we should go ahead and uh, get some fun gaming going. Hello, what's good, what's good? <laughs> so yeah, we just came out of round one. Um, we were able to take it. I guess some pretty tough matches. We had Gravigia on my end. Uh, Darkness had Chrono Jet. And Rika T had. Uh, shoot, I forget. Tommy Yur. No, 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 no. no. Darkness had Maelstrom. It's a Chrono Jet mirror on Rika T's end. That was pretty crazy. Uh, we were able to take it 2 1. So now just kind of. We just had all pretty much running a time somehow because our game's really, really good, basically, in a while. Oh, Nexus it. Core Cameo. <laughs> <laughs> Nexus is here! Nexus is here! <laughs> so, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead, kind of relax before round two begins, guys, use the restroom. So, hopefully, let's see how, well, let's see how far this actually goes. Round two is finished. We are not doing too well. All three of us lost. Rikachi lost to some Miracle Monastery deck. Uh, Darkness loses to Chrono Chia. I lose to Ava. OTOP, we swear. <laughs> Gotta get out of the way. It's a very, very tight venue. Um, yeah. yeah. Games are a little rough at times. Just hope I have uh, two teammates who cannot really play out grind games. But, uh, next year the format, I guess. So. We'll see if we can try doing some more. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. We'll, we'll figure that out. Maybe we need a drop. We'll see what's up. We'll see what's up. If we lose, I guess we drop. We'll see. We'll see. All right, round three. We all lose again. I played against Shoto, Shoujo, Shoujo, Doji, Thingamajig, Rylan. Right you just like call a bunch of stuff from your buying zone. You buy things. You, they're, they're kind of like pseudo. Uh, it's like that I did this. Somewhere, I don't remember where. But yeah, um, that happened. There was a Regalia mirror, uh, or Raika Koshi buzzing. Mikiru goes up against, I think, a Chrono. Yeah, Chrono Jet mirror. Uh, a, what was your last round? You played against Chrono Jet, right? You, Chrono, you played against Chrono Jet? Yeah, I played Chrono, oh, Chrono Jet, Jet mirror. mirror. Chrono Jet mirror, Regalia mirror. Damn, what the hell. Crazy game this game is. So we're currently X2, I think. We're still going one more round. I think we are going. I think we're going one more round. If we get a third loss, I think that's actually it. Standard not working out for us. I get OT damage triggered. That's not fun. Uh, I'm saying everything across the deck anyway. I'm over. Could could have enough to sustain. Game yeah, game's a little difficult. All right, let's see what happens from here. Like round numbers already. There's only going to be round four. I think Tens came against a youth player. It got really down to ringer, but just really short on shield by the end of it all. I kind of get a guy FR not to trigger. Um, then we go over to Darkness, play against Chrono. No, not Chrono Jack, no Strum. Too many attacks. What's the damage trigger? 
Make sure actually plays against Michiru, because it's jeweled. Actually wanted to do the deck out, that's kind of hilarious. Uh, we were going to drop, but then we decided that we'll play one more. Then we'll kind of go from there, take a break, play some Shadowverse Evolve demo. Yeah, over, overall. Not too mad. These, these games are intense. I'm only like die once to over trigger, got denied, probably. Not really good, but like getting a bunch of damage in against the over trigger. But overall, it could, it could be worse, I feel. V premium probably will feel worse. Alright, let's our uh, round five play against none other than uh, apparently Nexus at night. Agus, root beer, people, like, oh my goodness. We all somehow take our games. Atlas and I actually replicate a game we did many years ago. My Maelstrom against Silverthorne. Holy shit, that was crazy. Darkness had a... Uh, you play against, you play against Chromo J again? No, I played against... Oh, Maelstrom, right? Yeah, I played against a third round. Darkness plays against Maelstrom for the third time and finally finds out how to beat the matchup. We could keep playing the gangs. We could keep playing. I just got. I just crit on four for what game? Oh, for sure. Do you know, wait, we could keep playing because I couldn't tell. Like the heroes from Brendan. Oh, we could keep playing against heroes, Paul Jers. We all win. But yeah, uh, Nexus Agni, always good people. Go check them out right there. And we uh, uh, yeah, we're just gonna see. We're gonna end up playing one more round minimum because we're somehow. Cause Nexus Agni is gonna draw no matter what the result was apparently. But uh. We, we end up FR winning our games, so we cannot quite play Shadowverse Evolve demos yet. One more round, Mega Mom. So let's make a most of it, I guess. Six is over. We ended up well two. I, I get carry. I I I, I lost the ground with that. We could keep once again. Uh, Tamura. Doris wins again. Yeah, you I don't know what you play. Nope. I don't know. You build a field, then they don't. What's your opponent? What your opponent play? What? Well, well, my opponent played Orphis. Oh, Orphis, right? The one deck that I used to find on. Oh, insult, please. jokingly insulted, but now I actually respect it. Something that is so at this point. Grand K actually has good quality of life now. No, it actually is good. Yeah, like. so it's uh, it's two carry me this time. Cause like Nelson cannot do much against Chrono Jet. Oh, yeah. right. I'm actually able to play on playing on yeah, Dragon Order. Uh, so the joke is Chrono Jet and C, Uncle Force A. I was supposed to be Blaster, but my Blaster promo won't come in. So that's game, why I was making a joke. I think it made sense. You first with a B. You first with a B. But again, I just wanted to do more focus on my team more attack. Or yeah, uh, I guess I'm going to play one more round. And then, um, again, we can, we can say like one more round, one more round, but it's like, oh, it wow. ended up being like three more rounds by accident. All right, we finally ended round seven. We decided to drop after that. Gonna go ahead and play some struggle versus a ball. Play against, uh, play against Ava again. Triggers OP. Very. Trigger's very OP. Yes, we can keep telling me stuff. <laughs> crazy, crazy. Crazy, crazy. Very paranoid, much paranoia. We have, I guess we're going to be trying to sign up for Shadowverse Evolved demoing. Guys, that's going to be a game we're going to try to get some more stuff on eventually. We swear, we swear. So let's go ahead and sign up. Hopefully we're not going to be too late. Maybe grab some food later, grab some more supplies. Call the nine. Let's be good. So let's start up our showdown. Going on Shadow vs. Evolve demo. It's completely yeah. scripted. You can actually go Erika versus Arisa. Yes, or I love Royal, I love Arisa. Royal Craft. Forest Royal, Craft uh, mains sword, rise sword up. Sword Craft versus Forest Craft. You actually get one of, so you get a guaranteed uh, fighter token. Oh. Yeah, I dropped, I dropped that. You dropped the one that's actually yeah, really good for his dad. Yeah, yeah, true, true. So you can get your foot on the other side of the stick of the stick. Or, uh, double the ball, 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 double the
this truck. Like this actually is a very good truck. And this is a big part of it. Because this is one of the key parts of the interview. Very, very humble, humble, and can, can, can. It is, it is. So the best way is on the eastern side is to go down there, you draw a part, then you draw this to the side. Crazy, crazy. Also the silver bullet. Yeah, All right, we're finally out of the venue. I think we're not going to go back there for the rest of the day. But we do have to make a stop over in nearby Little Tokyo. Yeah, we're actually not too far. We're about 10 miles away. So it's not that bad. Thank you, Rika Key, for driving. We will not show Rika Key at the moment. <laughs> for, for safety reasons and so on. I'm doing this here. I'll show my appreciation via the music. I appreciate the uh, electronic dance music yeah, club music. Actually, they've never translated this in English. <laughs> I mean, we still call it Idol Master. Will we, will we, will we, will we call it, will we actually call it Gang Onbo? Or will we, or will we actually Dude, call it know, Electronic, this, this, Electronic, this, oh no, Electronic, Electronic Gang Mule Club. As a, as a, as a, as a Denonbu enjoyer, I will say that this thing has very bad, um, reach to the west. Like, uh, most, yeah, like, yeah, I, could, like I mean, like most of them call Bang Guy things, right? Dude, but Idol Master is like so popular. Well, Idol Master so. is rich because of the fans, not because of Gang called Bang Guy. Oh, that's insane. Well, think about it. Almost nothing, almost nothing as uh, as an Idol Master is FR. It has an English release. Yeah. Only, only Shiny Festa, and guess what? Guess dead. <laughs> well, yeah, uh, trying to head over to Little Tokyo, do some shopping, get some supplies, maybe gnomes. So yeah, kind of like a little spin-off uh, part of the vlog now. <laughs> Back here at Little Tokyo Gallery, there seems to be a bunch of people in K fashion, cosplay, and stuff in the area. So I guess we are unironically fitting in one way or another. Gotta get some shopping done first. Really cloudy out here today, but luckily no rain. But yeah, trying to get some, got some more shopping to do. One more stop, hopefully. Getting good guy back on the San Gabriel. Maybe, maybe a week change depending. There's a chance that what I'm looking for is actually here in Little Tokyo. We're going to encounter some crowds. <laughs> There's a lot of going on today here. I'll be cruising in my lane fast, call it high speed I've been working hard, yeah, I've been working nightly If you think you'll win, ha, not fucking likely I be taking shots, yeah, cold-blooded, icy Watching numbers grow is what I call sightseeing In the front row, run it up when they hype me The following grows, they know how to ignite me Call me CEO, I've been running shit right, see And I ain't playing games, I create my own lane Making pleasure out of pain, uh Turning losses into gains, I'm the boss, I'm making change, I've been rocking this exchange, uh Popping off and risking things, gonna make a fucking name, I just wanna be I make that debacle of people We're just about getting ready to hang to assist Assist got a lot of cosplay items, we're gonna get a gag, a cosplay item or two Hopefully it got what we're looking for. Hopefully. Like it's not a pop-up store, it's a store of crane machines. Fun. 
gamble away because it's right next door is uh, Bangai Namco Gashi. All items acquired, we can go ahead and head back into San Gabriel. Uh, Hopefully, not right too much traffic on the way back. That's not going to be fun. Looks like it's still kind of crowded up in here. Let's try to avoid uh, when all the crowd starts leaving. Oh, hello there. <laughs> Have a good day. <laughs> Functional escalators are fake news here today. Gotta actually lug stuff, walk up, carrying this kinda heavy bag. Kinda heavy. Uh, uh, uh. Where's the next one? Right here. That one's actually working. What is, what is going on? Oh, they finally cleared out the party up in here. Swag. Oh, shit. You might end gay filter sound too dark, right? That's a little better. Did everyone go looking eager? We can skedaddle. Hopefully, the traffic won't be too bad. The rest of us, St. Gabriel, get ready for day two. Okay, today is day two of the Booster Rose Spring Fest 2023 here at San Gabriel. Looks like we had quite a wild crowd between uh, White Swords and Car 5 Vanguard Premium today. They were still trickling in, we still got about like 10 or so minutes from now until they close check in. I uh, we got a little Rondo assemble across different teams. We got, we got one team with a uh, Rondo member playing Car 5 Vanguard Premium and two of us. Or three, three, the remaining three of us split across two different teams for Wise Wars. That we are doing some kind of like funky splits. Oh, uh, you guys got to really, really, uh, we decided we had to change up the team uh, structure a bit for reasons. We just said that. <laughs> yeah, definitely excited to play with some, uh, you know, change up a bit. You know, don't always have to keep playing with Rika Key and uh, Darkness. So, let's see how I end up doing with these um, new folks of mine. Alright, based on an announcement from HQ, there's at least 77 teams here for Wise Wars. So it's probably going to be a pretty big event, maybe 7 rounds like we had in Ontario. That sounds about correct from what I could gather. Could be 6. But seven sounds more likely. Seven sounds pretty likely. We're gonna just kind of relax in before we get paired up. Everyone's properly checked in. All that good stuff. All of our, all of us found our respective teams that are playing with today. So life is good. Everyone got their numbers. Just gotta hope play the best. Avoid getting sacked. That's not a deal. After round one. Uh, so how your team do, Luke? Darkness. Uh, we went 2 1, so we still got the win. Oh, that's nice. Uh, 1 2 here, so we're already down, uh, we're already down around. Uh, six more rounds go, so we'll see if we can try to climb back up. So, yeah, let's we'll see how we do, alright? Alright. Alright, so round 2 has finished. Um, triple layer against something that we sense, they're at kill grade. Boom, 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 they died. Can't even ask for me. Mm. What about you? I got burn one got bag burn of one damage by Bofuri at 3 6. Bofuri OP, please nerf. I'm 2 0. I finally beat Mushoku Tensei for the oh, first time oh. ever. Um, now you know how to deal with the better. No, the lesser 8 standby deck. Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm still, I'm still nerfed, technically. Oh, no, no, technically. I'm, yeah, I'm technically still. Um, I still winless against a standby build. I'm 2 0, I'm 2 0 though at the moment. That's nice. Yeah, yeah. Is our guest for this team here? Yes. I, I went zero two. I'm, I'm not I'm not doing good. Not doing good. No, my my luck's really off today. Oh, luck's really off. Uh, they, they they carried me they turn carried around one. I tried. <laughs> and, and he really tried. He was about to win too. He, yeah, I did like seven just, outs yeah. and a, into the fat stack left. Yeah, no. I feel it, I feel it. Oh, but let's try hanging there all one one now. So let's try hanging there and uh, make it all the way in. Maybe, maybe. Round three just concluded. Uh, Big soul, big swings, big burn damage, OP. I lose against uh, Neil Nakano. Teammate playing Neil Nakano loses against Fake. 49. Yeah, that's unfortunate. <laughs> um, the soul rush is real, the damage is real. Really? 
I think she looks good. Let's we'll see if we can try to solve each other with uh, four wins. We'll see what happens. Surprisingly well, I actually won against an eight stand by Nino finally. I'm 3-0. This is probably my best starting record ever. Let's go, let's go. Yeah. I'm one kill. My team's one kill. Yeah. Yeah, back, uh, I will say, Backpack Girl Mika Nakano is a very underrated card. It's very good as a one-up in standby. Backpack or headphone? Yeah, or headphone girl, actually. Yeah, headphone girl. Oh, sorry. Wait, was that wait, was it Backpack Girl? Oh, yeah, that's a headphone girl. Sorry, I get... No, no, it's, it, it, I normally don't get it. That's how, that, that's how funny it's it is. Though, right? so you're to get it no, I did. I stood it by the last turn, and then I, won, and then he, I got a burn one off of it. Uh, yeah, hopefully, uh, let's see where our team teams go. Let's see where our team teams go. Unfortunately, it must be happening. All right, uh, can we crown him two two? Can we crown catch him all three one? Three one, yeah. Three one. Three one. I'm undefeated still. Four zero. Oh. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. All right. I had. I will say, shout outs to that Kobayashi player. Kobayashi by oh, a, by a climax. I I won. Good dog. I I had demolished an eagle deck. No, uh, the guy reports it. I didn't just lose. I got destroyed. I kept playing climax turn after turn. Trigger quick. I keep triggering climax is crazy. Round five. I win against uh, Kotori Kurumi Gale at eight choice. Uh, my teammates ended up not doing too hard. Uh, my adventure time teammate almost crushed out against Triple Aaron catching Decoration of War. But I couldn't make it out at the end, unfortunately. And the Nino Mirror didn't go in my Nino player's favor. Uh, looks like to me, Quang, uh, is still playing it out, so we gotta wait there, it looks like. So, let's see how that goes. Um, unfortunately, this happened with Kaxamal. Wanna explain? Uh, yeah, so I have won my match. I'm still undefeated 5 0. Um, our uh, Gang Arts over here lo uh, lost. Uh, and then uh, we had a and then we had a damaged tie yeah. uh, uh, over here. So it was both lost for both teams. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Yeah. Crazy. Double loss for the team. Yeah. That's crazy. Oh, I forgot about that. That's crazy. Holy shit. That's, that's going to cause a real whammy for the top card. I may even end the round earlier, maybe. Maybe it might be six rounds because of this. Yeah, essentially. But I think that's crazy. Holy oh, yeah. shit. No, the ultimate guy probably because I was having a bad grind game, too. Because I was getting um, yeah, yeah, Shoku Tensei oh. and I was losing my stuff because they kept standbying level one so much. I see, then, I see. And they, they canceled. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, they canceled. Oh, yeah, they didn't get to level two, so it was mostly like crazy level shit. one and level two walls. That's crazy. Oh. How can you even at that point? Finish round six, uh, I won, but you're a kill loss. But I want to go ahead and thank uh, Kage and uh, Ariana for joining me for this team. We, we, we try to rebuild, kill me quite on him. We did what we could, we played a strong one. At the end, it just couldn't be ours. We're just going to go ahead and stop there, a 2 4 record. Could be worse. <laughs> <laughs> I have fun playing with these two. Thank you again. No, thank, thank you. So you. You're amazing. Seriously, thank for you sure, so for much. For sure. Have Hopefully, you know, next time, maybe we'll, maybe we'll be on the opposite side of the table or something. We don't know. I'm looking no, forward to it. I don't want to battle you. <laughs> you won't want to battle me. Fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> what in the... You see that? <laughs> That's hilarious. So yeah, uh, going to get, yeah. So yeah, we're going to be fun. We're going to go ahead and try to do some side events now. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go do it. Sounds great. Right. Thank, you. Thank you. So now checking in with uh, Chumi Clan Kaksha Mall. Yeah. So how 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 we do? Uh, I went. We went three and three, and then we three dropped. Drop. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Two four on uh, Chumi Clan on Hinge Gang. Yeah. I, said. I went off. I went five and five one. And one. I went almost went two. almost undefeated. I, I was my I was so close I until I lost to this AOT deck that had continuous multi attacks. Yeah, such a gabby scary. And I I even said there's like you know what fair enough. This is why I. I I praise that Weiss Wars multi attacks, and that's why too when I go to BSF Philippines, I'll be playing that Hello Happy World deck. Okay, so it's okay. a it's a very it's very a very fun multi attack. Very similar concept that Sasha Gabby actually. Yeah. Uh, Gargas, what about you? Oh, uh, sadly one, two, four. I was doing well my first game, and then my next two games were funny because I Wait, lost to. Take me two one three, right? Yeah, no, it was two, basically one, yeah. three, two one three. You Wait, tied, you tied one, remember? No, it was a double loss, so it has to count as a loss no matter what, okay. unfortunately. Oh, okay. So I just see that, that my one or two games were actually good. One game was funny to a death because of the, what was that?
the Bulfury damage one backup, yeah. and then I lost a triple Hestia, and I thought that was still funny too because they canceled me. Like, well, I'm out eight. I guess I'll die. Guess and die. then <laughs> the other ones were much harder because I was against Ushoku Tensei that I was double lost because I couldn't damage race enough oh, fast yeah, enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And second one was the last one was. Eight standby Nina, which was just really annoying, and that's right, that's we're about right. to time, yeah, timeouts okay, all like yeah, out of yeah, casino. Yeah. Oh, but yeah, very good. That kind of gets it for our tournament runs here from both Killing Clans. I want to go ahead and thank Pain our for actually playing oh. with Killing Clan, uh, Rico yes. and Darkness. Thank you again. You did a big help. Oh, no. It's really, been fun. They really, they really, they really, they really enjoyed uh, your company, it seems. Yeah, it was yeah. still fun though, despite what happened to me. Yeah. It was my, my end. Yeah, how did you personally find me, yes? I did, I did two four, so two I was like really bad. Oh, yeah, but yeah, it's, it's like whatever. Oh, yeah, really, you know? yeah. I just want you to have fun, right? It was your first turn, so you did very good. Oh yeah, yeah. first turn, yeah, pretty good. Actually, shabby, actually shabby. Yeah. No, I, I got really unlucky certain games, and then like happy, there happy. were only like two games that I actually felt like I lost to skill. Really. I feel, I feel. Like Escanor is just too strong. Escanor is very strong. Like, yeah. Anyway, for me, like, when it gets like Escanor back up on my end, I go okay. They're at level 2 and 3, clock. I'm at level 3 and 5. Yeah. Uh, triple Climax combo, pray. Oh, I guess I win. Yeah. No, you have to hope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was yeah, at... Yeah, yeah, I got Hail Mary for game. Yeah, I should have just leveled to 3 and, like, played it out. Yeah. But I, I chose not to level because it's just, like, not ever <laughs> worth it in, against any other matchup. But it gets Escanor. Right, you, you just you, lose. You, 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 you want to blow game up before they can blow you up. Yeah. That, yeah, 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 that's why Escanor is scary shit. But that's like a sign. It's really scary. I was, just, I was just so glad that my opponent's already out seven climaxes. The last Master of the Sun was in hand. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I, uh, he, he, all of this burn damage and soul damage, and I guess I win. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I guess I win that way. I was, I was pretty cheesy, not gonna lie. Okay. Uh, all right. Yeah, thank, thank you again. Thank nice meeting you again. <laughs> all right. Uh, I'm always thank down you. to do it again. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, I think we're just gonna go ahead and. Do some side events, do some casual games. My buddy's like, no, I can't want to do uh, some Vanguard with the three of us. Yeah, 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 it's going to be the three of us CCs. <laughs> so yeah, it's going to, we're just going to wind down from here. But overall, it's been fun here at St. Gabriel, Bruce York's first time in this specific city, in this specific venue. Thank you to the Sheraton for giving us this Grand Imperial Ballroom to use. The uh, hours are a little tight, but we all managed to make it work, work without any like major collision related injuries. So that all worked out very well. Uh, maybe if we do it back here next time, it would be more you know, more accommodation, more accommodating space. Maybe I kind of put some tables like together or something, have bigger aisles that way. And it was very nice of the hotel dining to offer some could be better but tolerable enough price lunch boxes for people to grab while they're here there was also a lot of food in the area regardless so we're very much not sure of food especially like east asian southeast asian food there's a ton of it here so yeah it's been a fun weekend we'll see if um harvest week goes maybe maybe more video maybe not we'll see we'll see <laughs> That, that, that currently ends it for us here at Bush Road Spring Fest 2023 at San Gabriel, California. Once again, we thank the Sheraton Los Angeles for giving us access to an okay venue if it weren't for the, the, tables. the tables being so narrow, cards falling off, easiest infractions of people's lives. True, true. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, overall, uh, we, we all have fun here, right? Yeah, I uh, went 5-1. 5-1 in Watch Wars, 4-2 in Watch Wars, Keck W in Vanguard. <laughs> we don't talk about Vanguard. We don't talk about Vanguard at this point. I have a key in my bag. So yeah, I think we're just going to go ahead and help the other beer. Let's get out of the dinner. End of vlog here. Anything else I want to say? No. We're good? Oh, uh, we almost caught cooked. All right, anyways, before we do get mega cooked, we want to see y'all here. Be sure to can press the gun. Thank you all in. Oh, the next one. Hello, everybody. Twin Tail back from the Kumi clan. This is not supposed to be one whole video, but after the Bushy Road Spring Fest 2023 event in San Gabriel, I ended up falling very 
fatigue after work and some of my at-home activities to the point where it became very difficult to handle video editing and so on. So I ended up trying to take it easy, you know, just really using my energy to I can't remember work duties I had to do, any small home activities or home tasks I had to do rather, I kind of family stuff um, wherever possible. And by the time I felt well enough, it was already about a week or two before uh, Bushiro Spring Fest uh, 2023 in Rosemont, Illinois, which we also can, as you will see in the footage coming up. Uh, here, this is kind of like future Twin Tales speaking before past Twin Tales world. So, as a result, this is kind of going to be like one mega video. You know, it will be myself, uh, teammates that I personally particip participated with that. So that would include uh, Rika, Darkness, and anyone else I had a team up with due to how we chose to arrange teams uh, for one of our events. So that's going to be very fun. Uh, you know, I, I have fun recording. Uh, hopefully, I'll, hopefully, I also have fun editing. I will hope I do, given that I'm more or less recovered. Um, for those who don't quite know, um, I have a, basically a skin rash that really, really prevented me from being attentive to long tasks at a time and video editing is one of those things so I just couldn't really do that. Um, I, guess I, I went to a specialist earlier today and just told me I had some eczema so you may or may not see some nasty skin stuff uh, showing up in these clips um, in both past and here. So that's going to be, you know, sorry, sorry about CAG, uh, if it looks a little gross or whatever. But I am doing better now, I feel at least 10 times better than I was right after, or in the weeks following Bruce George Spring Fest in San Gabriel, California. So uh, I, I am grateful for that. So that being said, um, let's go ahead and move it on with the main clips. We're out here all the way in Rosemont, Illinois. It's a bit of a chaotic morning. I got maybe like two hours of sleep because I arrived pretty freaking late from the airport and everything. Delay flight, whatever. Uh, I shouldn't actually be doing this right now, but uh, no staffs around. Uh, anyway, we're just waiting for around when to start. We just helped. Just got some quick prep done earlier. Um, Hopefully, it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, the, the spacing looks better with the tables. Things should not be slipping and falling off the tables like we've had in San Gabriel. So hopefully, that, that's one good thing around here. Pretty big venue, got a lot of people here. It's going to be pretty lively across the Car 5 Vanguard tournaments we have here on day one. Looking forward to finally reuniting with Rika and Darkness to play once more together again. Uh, it's gonna be fun, so we'll see how uh, today goes as uh, we truck along here. <laughs> and uh, Rika just like got out grabbed by Ava. No, I, no, I, I also misplayed. Oh, yeah, misplayed? I, I, I am CB, I am CB a lot. Oh, sorry, sorry, I had a lot of CB. But at the same time, I didn't really have a front row. Cry, so. cry, 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 big cry. Well, uh, that ends round one. Hopefully, we can kind of bounce back from here. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, Rough, 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 rough game. Rough, rough game so far. Rough game, but let's try to aim to bounce back. Trust. I will run, run away. I don't have to plan it. I can go, change my fate. You won't understand it. All alone, that's okay. People like it, stand them. They don't want me to change. Keep me where I'm standing. And I don't want to be where I am. And I want something more. Take a chance. Okay, round two ended. We played with some folks from the southeast. They're very cool folks. Uh, fortunately, um, only, only I won. 
Uh, Rika got OT. Gargus just got bomb rush. Bomb rush by tokens. Roll, 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 OP, swear. Um, yeah, X2 now. I used CB this time. Rika uses CB this time. Uh, last time no, uh, no, no skill diff this time, but OT was the actual skill diff. <laughs> uh, so hopefully we... I think we kind of bounce back somehow. I don't know if we're going to drop early. We'll see. Maybe like one or two more rounds at, at more, uh, in worst case, we'll see what happens. But so far, I like the energy up here in Rosemont. Um, the bathrooms are all manual. We're used to California's automatic faucets and flushers. <laughs> so that's a story to tell people back home. Anyway, uh, we'll catch y'all back after round three here at day one in Rosemont. You don't play Luke. <laughs> the first day on Sarah You don't play, play Luke here. Yeah. No. I, I need to thin my deck out. Someone. Round three. All right, that's premium, guys. Oh, yeah. So yeah, well, round three, we finally win all three of us. Nice. Yeah, I, I didn't go. To, I didn't go to time. Did not go to time. Uh, yeah. Was getting pummeled and killed. Uh, darkness digging. <laughs> and uh, I know the Berry Magnus match up way too well. If anything, it helps me because I just go serve. I'll get to a crit every time you're at four. So, yeah, uh, pretty good, pretty good, uh, so far, so, uh, we're not going with that. <laughs> so, I, I, four more, I four more rounds, four I, more I rounds. I have fun that round, yeah. the, despite the damage. Yeah, <laughs> fun, good, 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 that's what matters. Yeah. Alrighty, we should probably skedaggle and clear the path. This is war with the enemy, think that it was meant to be, living in a time where disease is on every screen. I won't let them fester me, I know most are festering. Round four was against a pretty no, that, crack that team. Crack team. No, we, uh, had, we had games. No, we, we had, had games. games of all time. We had games uh, of a GB7. Yeah, so as you can tell, okay, we can play this promo jack. He almost decked out though. Almost I was so out. close. What's the winning? So close. Uh, I couldn't. I was trying to prevent uh, you from having extra CB. That didn't quite work because I just don't have the gas to continue. And they don't have to keep doing extra draws or anything like that. Um, so I got a deck out, basically. I just chose to concede because I started writing a wall. Darkness, play against Ava, gets OT, and like Mega Dike. Four crit. It's cool, it's cool, it's cool. Front row, four crit. I was like, what the hell? Changing all well played, I guess. Uh, we'll play maybe one more round. If we don't do well, we'll get full drop. Call like a day, get some other stuff done. We'll see. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we'll just gonna see how that goes. Round five has ended. Rika rushing to another crowd check and dies. I play against Magnolia Elder win. Darkness plays against Seraph and win. So we're still winning this question mark. Question mark, probably gonna try to go like four or something. Uh, we might, yeah, it's two more rounds. Two more Swiss rounds left. Go on, Mickey Choco, but we'll speak the most of it. Have some fun. Do some stuff. Meet some people, maybe. I don't recognize anyone at the moment. I can't even really see anyone. Contact lens is dead. Uh, yeah, um, I forgot to even introduce like, what characters we were. We were actually three of the female supporting characters from uh, Car 5 Vanguard. Superstar Oscar. I can't the name. Kind of, kind of like stuff. Yes, I'll fix. Please pause your game, raise your hand, and wait for the question to assist you. Well, yeah, um, probably swim back here after round six. If you ain't see me activated, you better hope that you never see me agitated. I think about my actions, plan them out, evaluated. That's how I end up on the top, man, I'm calculated. My mind's a weapon, my body is the engine. I'm never second guessing, I just do what I was destined. Cause I feel I got the blessing, persistence and obsession. Okay, we just won all three games on our rank over here in round six. Going pretty comfy. Um, Ryan to Barrel Magnus again. Gosh, I'm not sure gets a heart attack every time. Wake up, conquer over Rowola. Darkness conquers over Graham Grace. Funky stuff we're seeing down here. 
One more round, see where that goes. Wing our nose. We've had fun, I assume. So, let's, let's uh, make it to the end strong, yeah? So, round seven of seven has finally ended. The team went 4-3, four, three, so 4-3 four, three overall. Rika went 3-4 uh, as Tamayura. Dragons went 4-3 as Overlord. I went 5-2 as Overlord. Almost got a 1. Almost go, got 5-2. I got 5-2 as Pop Sargra. I lose only the youth. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why this happen? <laughs> uh, overall, we have fun. We're going to probably like, see all. what else we can kind of do in the meantime. It's only, it's only 306, it's only 306 uh, out here. I'm still saying, I still need to get it. It's got 306 My out, 30 o'clock is out here in Illinois, so they're still pretty young after seven rounds. This, this tournament ended, this was ended pretty fast. We don't know how long Capri's going to take, but I'm just going to go around, hang with some people, record some clips with them perhaps, and... Conclude the day when we're running over. We all have fun. Welcome to my party. We're just getting started. A life is a dream or a nightmare starring. Hand me a drink, cause I think I'm going all in. Get me a shrink, who can catch me when I'm falling? Cover up my scars, flip the handlebars, crashing in my car. Wake up in a bar, I'll be a superstar. Just on my avatar. This world is so bizarre. Empty out the reservoir. Yeah. Hello, it's Twin Cow with. No longer than Wolf the Legend. You guys have seen him do those clan battles and the circuit that several of our members have been participating in. You know, thank you again for doing all of this. Of course, of really course. appreciate the work that you do for Vanguard Zero and now branching into Carfight Vanguard proper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> for sure. Uh, you almost made it all the way into the top eight. We're currently happening right now, uh, yep. but unfortunately, things happening, right? Yeah, made it to the top 10. I almost bubbled in, but almost you know, just in. missed it. For sure, for sure. Your team definitely was working hard, though. Yeah. <laughs> good teammates. Had a good time overall. Yeah, yeah. Had for a good sure. time overall. That's good. That's good. Coming back tomorrow. We're coming back tomorrow for V. For V, v Premium. There v you go. Premium. Yes, sir. Might, 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 might be seeing him uh, tomorrow with uh, my us in a different outfit and everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So again, everyone again, Wolf the Legend. Check him out. Twitch, YouTube, all right there. Hey, hey, bye. Again, we pretty much have ended here at day one of Rosemont. Everyone have fun? Yeah. Yeah, you know, have fun cosplaying from another Vanguard, Super, I mean, Star Road, Ostica. I don't even, I still don't know much of we, this. I mean, like, Among Us, not bad. Like, Among Us, like, pretty <laughs> nice to read. Trust me, trust me. Uh, but yeah, you know, we gotta meet, you know, gotta see, you know, y'all saw Wolf Collection earlier. Very, very cool dude. You uh, saw a little sneak peek of uh, a certain Yugi and Vancouver. Uh, I, 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 he looked too busy to be boggered, so I can interact. Uh, hey, for our first big celebrity other than whoever we see in uh, SoCal. But we, meet, we know the SoCal people though, like dresses and... We do know Tressa. I know, yeah, Tressa thing I go a little too far back, Loki. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, you know, it's a little cloudy here in Rosemont. Windy, they call it, the, they don't call it the Windy City. They don't call it the Windy City, but I think I almost had like, this, this guy like had a lot of close calls, but I never like actually got lost. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, I do have just like after I finish this little recording. Uh, but yeah. I think overall we had a fun game one. Uh, I think someone's just kind of feeling a little tired because we got into this area pretty freaking late last night. I, I got a bit earlier, but that doesn't even, it's still late on, on this side. Still pretty late, yeah. And I mean, I'm still jet lagged from, it's, it's, from it's, the it's, previous. Like a time, PSA. like a time is like barely like, what is it right now? Uh, it's only like five something central time PM. So. Yeah, that's yeah. kind of funny how that works. Yeah. But yeah, I think, uh, you want me to take that back in behind? Yeah. Want to come and say something? No, uh, I mean, I just, okay, yeah, I guess, I just had an alright time, like, some of my games were close, but it can't be honest. Actually, that was the only one game, that was the one game, that was it.
For sure, for sure. All right, any other last words we all gonna say for a gay one? Um, I, I actually like, to be honest, I like that environment. Oh yeah, the uh, environment's in great. Of, yeah. The environment's great. Okay. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's kind of like when we have my family, right? Oh, let me get in the video. Let me get in the video. Hey. In the video. I just realized I'm missing the. Uh, hey. Oh yeah. Hey, what was that? Okay, yeah, you know, it's definitely a good environment. Uh, definitely looking forward to tomorrow. Day dos. Yeah. So, hopefully we get much better rest. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, so I, I am. I am somehow functional after only like... Yeah, no, no. I, roughly I, I two the hours of sleep. I had the coffee and co I crashed out. Two I crashed cups of coffee. Out. Maybe it was because of how long my games were. Unexpected. Your games, games kept going... No, like, I survived. Five, like five out of your seven games during your time? I know, and I survived. I should have lost the game. <laughs> lost so the easy. game so easily. <laughs> yeah, we had some crazy moments today. I don't know. I only can. I, apparently, I know only how to lose to you. <laughs> All right. All right, but yeah, I think we're just gonna kind of end day here. Return back in the morning ish for day dos in completely different outfits. It's gonna yeah. be fun. It's gonna be dope. It's gonna be cracked. Probably we need to cross there. Yeah, yeah. So. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna kind of conclude here. See y'all tomorrow. Unfortunately, due to uh, working on a of great people's cosplays, including my own, I forgot to bring the proper microphone. So, I was gonna start with my own. So, yeah, when I was back here, I am too chill. I have my headphones right here. I forgot to put them on at the moment. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're, back at, we're here at Rose Mall, Illinois, day two, time for some white sports, it's time for some, you know, kind of, kind of take it on with, you know, we go and guard against the team again, it's going to be great, it's going to be good, ain't too stressful today, just again, we don't have the proper microphone, so, well, it's going to be a little weird, hopefully it's not, hopefully it's usable, so, here's praying, but yeah, we're still, still here until round one begins. So, we will see what happens after round one. Round one began. It's friendly fire. It's absolutely friendly fire. It's friendly fire. Like, no Are you really like, what the hell? What? That's their mate. Alright, ho hopefully no one gets mad. Going after round one, uh, friendly fire. It's in our favor, unfortunately, uh, for better or worse. But, uh, you know, they were, they were, they were good sports. Uh, we, we, there were some crazy games that happened. Technically, Darkness is still playing. But, uh, yeah, we already won it. Uh, no. Again, uh, you know, thank, thank you for uh, Junga and Kyle for being good sports. Sorry, I'm not done! All right, we'll catch you after uh, round two. Okay, we actually are really losing. Uh, I can't wait. We played some out there next, but we, you know, they got the barrel of us on two of our lanes, Darkness and I lost. We can match to win. I think that's going to be real carry, I feel. But we'll see if we can bounce back on here. Got five more rounds. There was once a day that I would pray for you. I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too. Sneaking looks up and down from across the room. Damn, what a hell of a view. I feel good. You look great. I like you. I can't wait. I first time. Hey, we are uh, we're now one two. Uh, this is not going too well. Uh, this day. I had a bad hand going to eat though due to some unfortunate draw and clock and draw. Uh, could have been better. Uh, we could have some misplaying going on. Uh, unfortunate. Uh, I'm speaking, it's still another game, but I guess I'm better for the sake of the tournament now. So, uh, I think we might play some more, and the off chance that we somehow squeeze, it's not too likely, but we'll really never know with these things. So, we'll see where it goes from well here. Alright, one great drop. Uh, I guess I have been working out uh, with Darkness and myself to spy some good things going, uh, but we couldn't quite work out. But well, yeah, yeah, we're going to drop it. Relax, we're going to shift the event, maybe get some forward shoots done or something. We do have us looking kind of cute in the way, so... We've got to go... Gargus has to be on this, that's the start of the year. Games are 
too close, but everything hey, did get, get, so get, well. still get close, but then we just kind of fucked it out. I don't know how I get better in Vanguard, what the hell is this? No, that's the truth. We actually did better in Vanguard. Yeah, well, then we did worse than Weiss. We, I mean, don't we, don't we almost always do better in Weiss than well, Vanguard, actually? Exactly. Vanguard might say, oh, I don't care. We don't right. do as well, well or we did a fight you. Every, every, every time we team up, we do better yeah, we'll either do it better in Vanguard. No, I mean, no. The one that we did better in Vanguard was, was Barrel. But Barrel was... I don't think does that count. I mean, that's you, me, and Barrel. Uh, yeah, yeah, but no, no. I mean, I feel like that a, one. It's the three of us. The three of us. Oh, I mean, it's, we only did two, so that means. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know what happened. No, I feel like. <laughs> Yeah, no, I feel like Rico did better with playing a meta deck, and Rico still did. No, fight. I think here's the problem too. Like, sure, I did. Also, I also, I think overall in BSFs with Nino, I went, I believe it's like six. No, no, it's like twelve and two. Yeah, twelve and two. But here's the thing: I was also on Swap B. We had kind of like different rounds, but I, my only losses were against AOT and uh, All Life Quantum Marine. So it's like. It's good confidence booster, but I also should be careful heading into BRO yeah. that of uh, potential like heavy meta death. I am surprised though not many people are putting Nino as at B. Because like uh, Nino uh, at C and A are like a bit more common, but I'm not seeing it at B. I think that makes sense though, because Nino is like a very good all-rounder. Yeah, but like, yeah, that's the thing that not many people are really trying to do. I think people who think an all-rounder deck of A and C are Yeah. Uh, like, uh, that's just gonna end the tournament, uh, we might, I think we like still block and stuff. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Oh, man, we still have a few stuff to do. Cause my is put on Yeah, I rap with a certainty. I have a sense of urgency. A message for eternity for everyone internally. I had some people burning me, but now they fucking learn to see. I ain't the one to fuck with. Now they looking nervously. And I don't really care what you think of me respectfully. You can kick rocks if you think you're fucking better. See, I will outwork you. Turn you to an enemy. Hurt you so bad that you're gonna need some therapy. I got the motherfucking recipe. I've been cooking. I'ma leave a legacy You'll be looking small when you're standing right next to me I'm 5'10", bitch, but I'm 10 feet Cause I don't give a fuck what you say Yeah, I'ma do shit my way So you can go kick rocks I'ma stack bricks up, build what I want to make Cause I don't give a fuck what you say Yeah, I'ma do shit my way you yeah, heard one of our content creator buddies, Yo. over in KCG over oh, yeah. in the Rio. Oh, you might remember him yeah. from streams, YouTube video with a lot of good stuff. Yeah, Vanguard Zero, the collabs, the TCGs. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I think I'm supposed to say something here. You should like, comment, and subscribe to these guys' videos. They're lit. Of course, so, um, of course, we're cool going to go for you. You know. Yeah, so yeah. Good to finally see you again. I did it. 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 I Alright, hopefully, yeah. hopefully we can be sure again, maybe you come down to California or something, or we'll come back up here, yeah, who knows. Yeah, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Uh, yeah, finally, really glad to meet these guys in person, finally, after all these years. One of the first people I worked with on YouTube, just like in Discord and the creator space, so, good times. Yeah, it's cool to bring everyone. Okay, so, uh, you know, we're back, just showing like the hotel room, it's a little dark. I. We'll try to get my microphone back on, but I guess I'm going to go in and we got to kind of get people out of our, oh, their cosplays, but, you know, it's been fun with uh, Rika and Darkness uh, here out in Rosemont. You know, we, we couldn't, we could have done better in the tournaments, but, uh, you know, it was fun. We got to meet everyone. I was chilling, though. <laughs> yeah. I was chilling because I went, I mean, Rika was very chilling. Yeah. Rika carries. Uh, I, I know, no, because I had the mystery, I, I have the mystery box the mystery slot, box but slot. I didn't play much against, against much meta, so it's like, oh, it's when, when, you know, I'm playing, it's like, Okay, but I did lose to that. At the same time, too, uh, um, there's also different types of tiles and builds. I don't know, slot B is quite the most interesting slot. Uh, and I'm also interested, though, next week we play in BRO. Actually, no, he's not. I, I can't play in BRO due to a uh, conflict. Yeah. All I gotta say is slot C is where you'll see the most crits and clutches. Crit and clutch. That's what C Coin stands for. C stands for crit and clutch, so it seems. And well, over that, I saw it for a while. Well, I still have fun over I have fun. I think I'm just going. Yeah. Okay, this is Future Twin Tail back. This is after both, as I said, both, after both San Gabriel and Rosemont. Uh, it's been overall a fun experience. Um, my first time traveling out of state for Bushiro's regional events for the English game. But I. I I, oh, I mean, I can't we haven't done so for the Japanese game, but we went to a 
culture ankle event, but it's a story for a different time. Uh, but anyway, it was very fun to just be able to check out new venues, you know, San Gabriel, it's new to California, uh, Rosemont, Illinois, while it's a legacy location for Bushiro from my understanding, based on what I recall and based on what I've heard from uh, people who are native or close by, close enough to the area to attend regularly. It has been a very, very fun experience to really experience these uh, new venues, playing these new venues, you know, when, uh, despite any flaws that happened, it was fun overall. So, that being said, um, reflecting on the event as a whole, San Gabriel was kind of, um, it's kind of like, we're, like the beginning, like where I was really starting to feel a little whack, but overall I was able to have fun, you know, we, we had fun doing a little, um, story, not story, not story, not story, not story we represented our respective nations based on the, uh, Car Fight Vanguard World Dress Cost, which we did really, really have fun doing that despite having the incorrect wig for Uroba Hamayama, but uh, now I do have that, hopefully I get some photos taken of that soon, maybe by the time this goes up or around there. And it was fun to, while we were separating, despite a uh, degree of us cosplaying from Rondo into D for DJ franchise, you know, I know that I would, I'm pretty sure Rika and Jorgens were have fun with uh, your teammate, and I definitely have fun with the two who uh, gracefully uh, took me in. It was really fun uh, playing alongside them. You know, while we didn't get to go too far uh, as teams, we did what we could overall to make it work in both standard and watch sports that time. Car fight van or moving over to Rosemont, um, our, our little Dragon Empire trio. That thing went well overall. You know, we took some early losses, uh, but we were able to push back. We we did. We did overall all right, giving a standard. And I definitely enjoy playing Buff Sarga. Uh, you know, it, it kind of reminds me of playing old school King of Nice Alfred from way back in the game. People really, really know me for that deck, and I just felt that with the sealed blaze weapon, or yeah, sealed blaze arms, uh, Swayambo. The fact that you can use that as an easy, no card, you basically gotta play the card because you're playing the game. No, you don't need to commit any cards to guard for an easy 10,000, which has come up quite often throughout my tournament run. So I really overall enjoyed that deck, despite of, you know, a very, very, very simple, very effective deck, and I like it overall. Uh, so I do thank. Dark Kids for hooking me up with that, you know, people kind of noticed that it was quite a sh on the shinier side than what I typically would use. And then with Wise Wars, I will admit that, you know, for, for both Carfight Vanguard Standard and Wise Wars, in the period between San Gabriel and Rosemont, which is about roughly seven weeks. I wasn't really able to get much playtime in until maybe the final two at best. But I wouldn't really say I may... Like, if I, if I could point out any mistakes I made, it was definitely unnecessarily stalling out against one of the youth matchups I had. If I, if I chose to commit a little more, I probably would have lost to deck out. There, there's probably a good chance I still lose because Youth is just able to outpace Buff Sarga over half the time, from what I could tell. But other than that, I don't. I, I think a good amount of games that were, especially in White Wars, I felt uh, the games really came down to me just not having the proper oomph <laughs> to close out games. You know, I thought we had something going, uh, not quite. <laughs> so, oh well, yes, it happens. But uh, with that, uh, that's pretty much my little reflection on the game. It's just really fun to 
check out these new places. I really, really enjoyed walking through both San Gabriel, Rosemont, Chicago, Silver Park. Really, really fun, like, catching up with all of my friends I've met, you know, in person in the past or online, and just kind of reconvene several years later, you know, here we are, in the real, it was really fun, you know, you already saw some clips of our encounters with some of our fellow content creators and so on, you know, that was really, really kind of them to join in for that, we definitely had fun catching up, playing game, playing games with one another, all, all the big deal. Uh, but yeah, I definitely really, really enjoyed the trips and hope you enjoyed watching that. Here's some more reflections from both Rika and Darkness coming up after this. Hi peeps, this is Rika TCG. Um, basically, we're going to give a little bit more of my reflection side too as well for this uh, overall video. And we're going to start off over here with uh, BSF San Gabriel. I think it was really nice to debut with basically a meta deck at the time. Um, still is a meta deck um, at the moment, but this is where basically Quince basically peaked. And kind of gave a bit of a sense of how I feel around what my more comfortable slot is. Um, as you can see over here, on this side, I basically went 5-1 and one on my team. It was a bit different though. It was not with uh, myself, um, Darkness, and Twin Tail. Though it was uh, myself, Darkness, and um, another person, uh, King Artois, who joined in as well on the uh, C slot. Uh, myself over here hit it on the B slot and basically got a lot of the main variety matchups. And I enjoyed utilizing uh, the deck that I have over here, which is basically Quince, uh, before the choice restriction. And even then, the choice restriction really didn't affect me, which we'll talk more about it later. But I really enjoyed um, taking a bit of a turn on a current meta deck because a lot of people are playing a lot more of the you need to play a bit more slower and such. But I decided to go add a little bit of stuff that probably a lot of people would disagree with, such as clean cut up here. And I think that it's really interesting that I can go innovate even uh, just utilizing a small amount of the piece uh, framework of what the main core for the meta deck is. So I think that it's really nice and I, it helped me really get into that um, good winning record over here. Um, the next event that I went to after BSF uh, San Gabriel was BSF Philippines. And this one I actually went just by myself because Darkness Twintel didn't go. But um, this actually helped me over here get to surprisingly my first top. Um, it was me, um, it was me, Chicken and Wingish, and um, LV were the three, were the three people of the team. And basically we had a three run record heading into this and we were able to make top cuts. And it was my first ever top cut that I was able to make, which is honestly really good. And I really enjoyed it thoroughly overall. Um, got to play with uh, my Spark Brothers, of course. I really like playing this build. It's really nice, really cool. And I played on player A. Um, the only matchup which was really unfortunate for me, though, was um, against Mega Colony, uh, which also led to a team loss. But we've pushed all the way through. And honestly, uh, we definitely did thoroughly our best. And I'm honestly glad for what we were able to achieve on this. So much so that, ironically, I was able to get uh, on a WCC video. I was actually su uh, surprised I was able to actually get on this. Uh, but it was pretty cool. I was able to top with Spike Brothers. And it's my first ever top, which I really enjoy. Um, then, the next day afterwards, um, within Weiss, I forgot to talk about the the Vanguard section where I played a Chrono Jets. I went 4-3 and three on that in uh, BSF San Gabriel, but not as much thorough this thing, but I like utilizing Chrono Jet at sea. Uh, but here on BSF Philippines and Weiss, I didn't do as well <laughs> overall though. In round 1 we did get a team win, but just snowballed there from there. My deck apparently decided to break and I also made a misplay on round 2, which was unfortunate, but hey, I got to try out the Hello Happy World deck at the end of the day, and I still enjoy uh, thoroughly the deck, but unfortunately sometimes it just thoroughly breaks, but... Hey, it's a pretty nice deck, uh, all things considered, overall. Then we get to the last one. I actually didn't plop um, my results from Rosemont, but I did use the same White Shores deck. For the Vanguard side, I utilized uh, Tamayura and didn't do really as well. I really think that it's a deck that just feel like it just can't have as a good finisher. 
Uh, even the new Tamiura, unfortunately, kind of suffers from this. But I personally think that Tamiura is good to play, like, maybe a couple of times, and then, but not in, like, a thorough rush tournament setting, which was kind of the unfortunate part on my side. I played on A, and um, I didn't get as much meta, though. Um, I was able to win against... Um, uh, I think forgot the Stoikea, the new Stoikea build, but the other ones that I beat were Clarissa and I even surprisingly beat Chrono Jet too as well. Um, and then there's like another one that I completely forgot what I pl uh, what I beat. Uh, but overall, those were some nice matchups. But then I lost pretty much like t the big three, which was Chrono Jet. I actually lost to Chrono Jet twice, <laughs> which is hilarious. And then I basically um, lost to Eva and Youthburn. Uh, which is not as surprising because these are really thoroughly strong decks, but it's unfortunate with the scenarios that happened on it. A lot of Tommy Hero wants to do is try to slow you down, but those decks thoroughly have a lot of gas. But then going to the Weiss side, uh, Weiss, I basically played in Rosemont to this exact build. Uh, this build basically is the same thing as you saw over here. The only changes, though, to account for the choice restriction are taking off, dozing off each Kanakano for uh, these which was it right here this one uh over here so this uh, neo nakano was added to it was basically it's a pretty solid replacement all things considered and really still helped with a lot of the main game that i wanted to play with the, the a bit more aggressive uh, use so that was pretty nice to do i was able to go three and one with it um my i basically played against dal i played against dal i played against uh, Fate, Fate, and I played against uh, two Hall Lives, which ironically one of the Hall Lives you saw on the video was uh, from against Yune. Um, well, so it's like two different thorough Hall Life builds. But then I also utilized, played this in BRO and was able to almost top 8 it. So very great improvement on that myself. And um, despite, um, you know, going a bit different direction heading into the movie, it was a pretty nice overall uh, thorough deck to play especially with the innovation I decided to add on my side there's a lot of questionable stuff you can argue with some of the choices that I made here but honestly a lot of it's thorough fair game and it's all about uh, how you want to utilize your own deck and such I play a lot of needle mirrors in bureau though and the thing that also made me reflect was the difference between playing against um, direct meta which ironically you can't really see but I only played against two Alice one in Asia region and one in Europe region, which I don't have my results for. But I went one and one in each. I went, I beat Alice in Europe and I lost to Alice in Asia. So uh, it kind of literally shows that this deck could stand against it, but it just depends on thoroughly factors. I'm not a fan of the mulligan side of things within this deck. You have to be a bit more specific and it's kind of um, used by that due to the L0 game that I kind of plopped on myself, but I kind of have a heavy use of L3s too as well, kind of helping with that standby usage at level 2. But I would say that this was a thorough success, and really makes me quite um, think about, I like being in the beast slot overall, I think it's very thorough comfort use, and I really like this playing mystery box formats, because you see a lot more meta decks within A and C, but B side looks to be definitely uh, where versatility really works in all around game. So that's something that I want to uh, hopefully reflect back on heading into the next few tournaments. But other than that, that's just my overall main reflections on what happens between uh, BSFs. I'm looking forward to BCS, more so going into the singles competition and the featured BROs with standard and premium for Vanguard. But overall, it's a thorough, nice experience. I was able to get my first top in uh, Vanguard Premium and looking forward to also competing more alongside other fellow teammates too as well heading into... Uh, the next few tournaments coming up. Hello, gang. Uh, bye, everyone. Uh, oh, Congrats to him. Race to darkness, all. Bye from Rosemont. I know we're all tired. <laughs>